This is the brand audit presentation for the Snickers Group for brand management. Snickers Candy Bar was introduced in 1930 and is owned by Mars Incorporated. The name Snickers originated from the Mars family's favorite horse. The original brand image centered around gold coloring and the caramel filling of the actual candy bar. However, 1940, they focused on branding a simpler package with basic colors and bold horizontal lettering. It wasn't until 1990 when the brand decided to focus on a more patriotic logo, featuring the red, white, and blue of the American flag. It stayed fairly constant, with very subtle changes, mostly since then. Also in 1990, Mars officially adopted the name Snickers to all areas around the globe. Previously in the UK and Ireland, Candy Bar had been marketed under the name Marathon. Snickers is currently in the top three in sales, within the candy bar category with annual global sales at over $2 billion. However, in the early 2000s, sales were stagnant and Snickers had to come up with a major effort to revitalize their brand awareness. They strive to reach new levels of the market with a reimagined campaign. The following ad was created to play for the first time during Super Bowl 44 in the year 2010. Mike, what is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 Eat a Snickers. Better? Better. Hey! I'm up bet! That hurt. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. This was the first time Snickers had featured the slogan, you're not you when you're hungry. With Betty White's placement in the Super Bowl ad, it topped in the USA Today charts, charts as the number one ad. It prompted such a groundswell of enthusiasm that ultimately received 91 days of media coverage from one 30-second ad. In total, this ad generated 400 million incremental and unpaid media impressions with a media value equal to $28.6 million, which is 11.4 times their initial investment. This increased sales by over 15.9% in its first year since airing. Over the past six and a half years, Snickers' You're Not You When You're Hungry has won major awards at creative gatherings, including Kane's Lions, The One Show, DNAD, and the Emmys. The ad even sparked a major comeback for Betty White, who made appearances on television such as Saturday Night Live following this ad placement. Building on top of their You Are Not You When You're Hungry campaign, Snickers created a strong social media presence to advertise their product. These social media tactics have increased the intensity of the engagement and nature of the relationship that buyers have with their brand. Snickers encourages buyers to engage with them socially through sharing opinions, creating memes, and hashtags. Their social media department actually created this hunger rhythm, which is a viral video that compared with a retailer in order to focus on prices while introducing a humorous side to it. Video plays as following. Guys, what color is this sock? Blue? You're Shut the up. dumbest I ever. Hate gold, you you idiot. The internet is an angry place. But what if that's just because we're hungry? Luckily, Snickers has created the Hunger Rhythm, a hunger algorithm that monitors the mood of the internet. So when anger goes up, Snickers prices at 7-Eleven go down. Now when the weather's crappy, you get cheaper Snickers. Political scandal, cheaper Snickers. Meteor strike, definitely cheaper Snickers. So over meteors. To lock in a price, hit get a Snickers on your mobile to get a reduced price barcode, then simply head down to your local 7-Eleven to claim your Snickers. <laughs> Snickers Hunger Rhythm. The angrier the internet, the cheaper the Snickers. Get your low price bar at snickers.com.au. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers has also created this meme generator that you see on the right side of the screen. This is our own team member, Aaron, who actually created this meme with a logo saying, I'm Medusa when I'm hungry, hashtag eat a Snickers. These type of engagement, ways to engage their, their consumers 
create a humorous aspect and keep the relationship alive through these tactics. The hashtag eat a Snickers campaign has 13,159 Instagram posts as, as of today. Additionally, they created a social campaign in Manhattan and Brooklyn, New York, around people who had done their jobs poorly by placing Snickers stickers around the town that say, you make mistakes when you're hungry, next to each of these areas that are somewhat, well, I'll say illogical. So for example, you see a door that has an enter here sign right next to a do not enter, as well as a railing that's supposed to go on a downhill slope of a stairwell, um, poses a stairwell that's actually going upwards. So these type of stickers created a source, more of a social engagement that actually got people out in the community looking for these areas. It took that relationship one step further by encouraging this interaction with the brand itself. People continued to look for these areas and created more of a viral campaign in the physical aspect. The brand architecture of Mars is made up of a number of products. The Wrigley family is included with these brands, such as Orbit, Double Mint, and Big Red. Mars also displays its dominance in the candy bar space with competing products, such as Milky Way, M&M, and Twix. Pet foods such as Pedigree, Whiskas also make up the Mars family. With the Snickers brand in particular, they have more products that feature ingredients such as chocolate, caramel, and nougat, however. The slogan, you're not you, when you're hungry, allows Snickers to position themselves in the snack market in addition to the candy market. They differentiate themselves by giving an impression of a snack that will leave you full and being able to operate as your usual self. Some consumers may only see Snickers as a candy bar, which doesn't portray consistency with the snack message, but this message can lead to other marketing opportunities later down the road. Mars developed the marketing code in 2007, which was never to directly advertise to children younger than the age of 12. This was the first food company to do this, and won't even pair their Snickers ads with television channels that target young children. They believe that keeping snack-filled vending machines away from primary schools and don't even sponsor kids' sporting events. If primary schools were to ask Snickers for participation, they'll gladly donate, but don't provide any branded materials. The customer goodwill relays a very powerful message, especially to parents, and strengthens the consumer brand relationship. This made an immediate impact on sales as well. Snickers has done very well for their branding and the strategies into other cultures. Uh, for example, they created a Snickers flavored gum to release for their Mexico market. This was due to them recognizing the popularity of chiclets in the country and creating a relatable product. In China, they advertise many different physical activities on their packaging. They recognized the popular and continually growing market of professional sports and provided that to their consumer. In Germany, they focused on the athletic market as well by endorsing a very well-known soccer player. Their ability to keep this connection with other cultures has been very successful in the global marketplace. We revise one of our recommendations that when they're expanding into other cultures, to don't lose focus of the quality control. So for example, in 2016, 55 countries had performed a massive recall due to plastic being found in a Snickers bar. Issues such as this can arise if these expansions just happen too quickly. Their reputations damaged, sales can be damaged, and their image can be, can be damaged and really beyond repair. The focus on these quality has to take place as they keep expanding into more factories into these countries. Other recommendations we'd have for the brand was to continue this, this notion of creating funny and creative advertisements. For example, a Betty White ad was a great example of how they can make an immediate impact on sales and brand recognition. Also to expand their product line into some healthier snack options, for instance, possibly granola bars, trail mix, etc. This campaign of you're not you when you're hungry can translate to other products known for healthier substitutes and meal replacements. And also to advertise their other products, more like the Snickers peanut butter bar and ice cream products like they do with their original candy bar. For example, the Reese's peanut butter cups are currently number one in US sales, with Snickers at number two. There's a market for Snickers to focus on this one particular product, which is the Snickers peanut butter bar, instead of the original candy bar. 
by utilizing these strategies, they can continue their success in the national and global market. And that concludes the presentation for the Snickers Group brand audit.